The crew is already conducting a tailgate session where the job tasks are assigned and any safety hazards are discussed. Once the tailgate session is conducted and the crew is comfortable with the planned procedures, they begin unloading the mini derrick. Mini derricks may be wheeled or tracked, but are always transported to the job site on a specially designed trailer. The boom of the auger must be stowed and secured during transport. The mini derrick is backed off the trailer and moved into position by the operator. Since the mini derrick can be used to transport heavy equipment, the crew will use it to transport both the pole and the pole top transformer. They first lower the wooden pole and the transformer to the ground. Once the equipment is in place, the crew maneuvers the mini derrick into position. The transformer is carefully lowered onto the mini derrick storage area and secured into position for transport. Then they maneuver the mini derrick alongside the wooden pole on the ground and lower the outriggers to attach the pole to. Using two hoists, they attach the pole to each of the outrigger legs and lift it into position for transport. The crew is now ready to move to the job site. As with the truck mounted digger derricks, the mini derrick needs to be stabilized prior to operating the boom. Because the terrain is uneven, the workers unload the wooden pole and then the operator extends the outriggers to a pad or cribbing block to further stabilize the unit. Additionally, anytime the unit is used around energized lines, it must be properly grounded just as you would a truck mounted digger derrick. Now that the unit is stabilized, the boom can be unlatched and maneuvered to the side of the unit toward the location of the hole to be dug. Next, the auger is unlatched and lowered into position. Now the digging operation can begin. This particular unit is being operated by using a remote control device. This allows the operator to observe the auger digging action closely and make adjustments if necessary without the need of a signal person. Note that the operator and all personnel in the immediate area of the unit are wearing the same type of personal protective equipment as you would see in a truck mounted digger operation. Since there are no overhead lines to contend with at the job site, the crew takes the opportunity to frame the pole on the ground. Mm -hmm.